American diplomats were evacuated from Syria on Monday. U.S. Ambassador Robert Ford has been practicing in-your-face diplomacy there. In July, he visited protesters in Hama. In September, he attended the funeral of a leading activist. And while visiting an opposition leader, Ford's car was attacked by a pro-government mob. The ambassador is now in Paris, where we found him earlier today. Why come to the aid of the people of Libya and not the people of Syria? Well, Scott, we certainly have come to the aid of the people in Syria. If you saw the way the Syrian economy was suffering now because of a sanctions effort the world community has applied, led by the United States, we are doing a lot. What we have not done is send military forces. And even in Syria, there is not yet a consensus about whether or not they want military forces. Help me understand, why would anyone on the receiving end of the crackdown not want to have international military help in the form of air cover, for example? The Syrian government has organized uh, gangs. I, I don't know what else to call them. They're just armed gangs that are running around into neighborhoods, storming into people's homes, smashing in the doors, and hauling people out, and people disappear into prisons for months at a time. Often then they're tortured. Um, but air power isn't going to solve a problem like that. So the possibility of allied military force coming to the aid of the rebels is slim, or none, in your estimation? The president said a couple of days ago um, that we are hugely concerned uh, by the killing of, these, of the civilians in places like Homs. I mean, it's very disturbing. All of us look at these pictures and we're horrified by them. They're revolting. However, we want to find other ways, not using military force, to bring a solution. Ambassador Ford, thank you very much for being with us. Good luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Scott.